Just when you think they're going to run out of innovative and interesting and dare I say magical ways to deal with this screen to body ratio obsession, you get met with some new form factor. Today, we've got the latest to unveil itself. This is the Honor Magic 2. This is a slider phone. Like the old days, there was a slider phone. This one is kind of different in the sense that the goal here is to unveil or hide the front-facing camera equipment. Now, if you watched the previous video, Nubia, another smartphone maker, attempted to get this maximum screen-to-body ratio by moving another screen onto the back of the device. It's kind of exciting, it's imaginative, and why not? Who knows what the proper implementation is? Maybe it's this. This model in front of me has eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. Now, this is only available currently in certain regions. I've got the Chinese writing here on the unit itself. Type-C cable, a Type-C audio adapter, because there is no headphone jack on this device. The headphone jack continues to be neglected. Now, you're gonna notice right away, it's got a crazy ambitious camera set up on the rear. Three camera modules here, including the bottom unit, and then, of course, AI vision is written on there, so I'm assuming the camera has some degree of AI capabilities. The construction feels pretty good. It's weighty, it's all glass and metal. Very nice, but here, is the action. This is what you've been waiting for. Boom! Oh man, that is satisfying. I expected it to be satisfying. It's like an adult uh, fidget spinner. If these things become popular, if this becomes the de facto standard smartphone bezel-less implementation, you're gonna have a bunch of people sitting around doing this. This is rated for many more uses than whatever motor might be inside some of those other implementations. Okay, let me boot this up. Wow, that is a cool wallpaper. Are you guys seeing the action on there? It's animated. It does have a bit of a chin. I mean, some people get mad about this because it's not completely symmetrical. This doesn't really bug me that much. It protects the clean aspect ratio. No bulges, no notches. As you can see, the display goes to the top. Boom, boom. There you go, you need to take a front-facing image, you need to take a selfie, you're quick. Bit of a magic trick, dare I say. I think the ladies are gonna love that right there, you see? And just an addictive, fidgety thing to begin with, as I mentioned before, oh my god. If I carry this thing around, I'm having conversations, like, go on. Ah, interesting, very nice. Yeah, pardon? Say that again? It's a little much. Let's launch the camera. It's like, hey, slide it down. Okay, very nice. There's beauty happening. I am, I am not this beautiful. Beauty level zero. That's better. That's pretty nice. It's realistic. How many megapixels on this front camera, Will? That's a 16 megapixel front facing image. The crazy part is I don't even take that many selfies in real life and Part of me feels like a lot of you guys are in the same boat. So it's, it's, it's amazing the engineering workarounds that companies are having to come up with to solve a problem that most people only face from time to time. See what I did face, face the problem. Face the problem from time to time. Okay, so the display is FHD+. Plus. It is also OLED. It's quite vibrant. Is that the type of display you can get behind a jack? Okay, now other considerations, of course, the earpiece. It's able through a channel there to feed through this region. I believe it's just a mono speaker, but I don't know, I'll give it a try here. It feels like there's a tiny bit of sound coming out of the earpiece section. The vast majority is coming out of the bottom grill here, so.
It's nothing special. It's getting the job done. It's an average speaker. I thought there might be a bit of a compromise with the whole sliding action. It seems most, if not all, 99% of the sound is coming out of this little bottom unit. 6.39 inch device. It's actually kind of crazy to get that screen size, but like in this grip, it's got the Kirin 980. It should also have the night mode, I'm guessing, for photo. Let's go pitch black. Let's see what happens. Look at this. That's in pitch black. Like it just, it's, it's bringing life to the darkness. It's pitch black in here, ladies and gentlemen. So it's got the crazy night mode. Battery is 3,500 milliamp hours, nothing crazy. It's probably more of a marvel of engineering than you can possibly fully appreciate from where you're at. But when you hold it, it's like, man, it feels surprisingly practical and like less of a gimmick than you might think when you first saw the announcement or saw the images floating around online. Price-wise, it's gonna be somewhere flagship territory between six and 700 bucks. It's only gonna be sold in certain markets, so you're gonna have to check that out for yourself. I'll try to track down a link and put it in the description, but right now, the thing is just kind of hard to get your hands on, especially if you're like me here in North America. You guys are gonna have to decide, is this the type of implementation that brands should be going for? Is this acceptable to you? It kind of feels like too much for a function that really doesn't get utilized that much. Like you're gonna be doing this all day and it's like, how often are you really using that front facing camera? And then the rest of the time, are you just goofing around like this, doing thousands of movements and cycles on the slider? Nonetheless, you gotta respect the feat of engineering, the Honor Magic 2. I'm gonna slide my way out of here.